Are you guys tired of grinding your badges or your overall? No worries. Hit up Legit Grinders. They're the cheapest, fastest, and most legit badge grinders in the 2K community. Make sure you hit them up. Link is in the description. They do overall and badge grinding. 2K, 2K, 2K. Why do you listen to the bums, to the people who barely play this game, to the people who suck? Why do you help them out? Why, why, why? I know why. Because your game is all about making money. But let's get it. What's going on, YouTube? It's the Goat White Boy of 2K. It is Young Dirk. I'm going to go over all of the patch notes right now and explain all of them. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the full video. I will explain because some of them are a bit hard to understand. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join the GOAT gang. You will not regret it. I promise you, bro. I am the GOAT. But <laughs> And also, if you could get this video to 500 likes, it takes two seconds to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get on to the patch notes. So, first off, all the stuff that who the fuck cares about. Updated Jumbotrons. Nobody cares. Uh, when you're in the Create a Player menu, you can do Preferred Short Lengths. whoop de doo Who the fuck cares? Alright, let's get into the... Gameplay implemented newly approved NBA rule that resets the shot clock to 14 seconds following offensive rebounds. I did not even know that was a rule. So basically when you get a offensive rebound, the shot clock will be reset to 14 seconds instead of 24. Next we have, which is a fucking big mistake, reduced the effectiveness of of on ball steals especially for low rated defenders by implementing the following increased foul chances for body to body contact increased ball security after rebounds when both hands are on the ball introduced a cooldown when attempting too many steal attempts in a short amount of time more missed targeted steal attempts for poorly rated players basically to sum all that that up is now it's going to be way harder to get steals, especially if you do not have lock in your build. And that is fucking stupid. And the people who are complaining about that were people who are bad at the game. If you are dribbling the ball in front of me, it should be a steal. And I get ripped all the time. And it is my fault because I literally dribble the ball in front of a defender. That is bullshit. I, the good people were not complaining about that at all. It's literally bullshit it is ridiculous but whatever 2k wants to make the game fun for bums so whatever fix the soft hang no one cares Do injury no one cares fix the case where no one cares uh let me find something that people care about slight reduction in the effectiveness of pass lane steals that are not manually triggered so Wait, let me read that again. Oh, so basically if you do not go for a steal, your player will not steal it, I guess. Adjusted adjusted shot contest animations to make more to make them more responsive against perimeter jump shots. Of course, going with the bums, but this might be good. Okay, I'm I'll have to play and find out cuz pure stretches are overpowered as fuck. But I hope they don't ruin all the other builds. They should have just should have just done it for pure stretches. No other builds. And I just made a pure sharp on the PS4. So I am kind of upset now. And my pure shot crit, I obviously shoot contested shots. So we will see about that. But I will adjust. I always adjust to the patch. Do not worry about that. Change the logic for a defensive stopper. To apply against opponent's position away from the, from the defender's natural position position, or when matched up with someone with a 3 inch height difference. I made a full video on that. I'll leave it in the, in the description. Basically, if you are a small forward, you will affect 
the uh, you will affect shooting guards, small forwards, and power forwards. And if you're six ten, you will affect people from six seven to seven three on the whole court, which is which is which is great. Defensive stopper is the most overpowered badge in the game. Again, I'll leave that in the description. Short of no one shortened the subtle pass flinch reaction to approve responsiveness. No one cares. No one cares. Reduce the frequency of defenders bodying up ball handlers in the backcourt violations. Um, increase the speed at which a defender can move while in hands up. Okay, that is good. Because when you would hold up the right stick, you'd be slow as fuck. My career, who the fuck cares? Um, just to fix all these glitches and shit. Neighborhood. The daily spin prize wheel experience has been moved in the improved in the anti-up environment there is now a second exterior door that leads you to a room with a number of prize wheels this will enable you to get your prize more quickly so basically if you guys did not see the screenshot going around on twitter there was a whole room for the prize wheel so you do not have to wait in line anymore so we were complaining and 2k said fuck y'all we're giving you guys a whole room so you guys can shut the fuck up but anyway um, users are now able to place text logos on the sleeves and hoodies. Users can now view how much VC has been earned next to the spinning VC icon in the lower left hand corner of the screen. Fixed in inbounding exploit that, okay, so basically that means no more inbound glitch, I hope. But if there is one, I will sadly be making a video on it, but the inbound glitch has been patched. Address the case where a player could turn themselves invisible by equipping a compression shirt. So that means the invisible glitch is patched, thank God. Um, let's see. Let's see. Fix an issue and ante up where select members of a squad will experience loss of game control after losing a game squad. I don't even know what the fuck that means. This one I hate. Jump shot celebrations will only automatically trigger on green releases. I hated that. I love how it triggers on shots that are white because you knew if the shot was going in or not. I fucking hate that. Um, General improvements to the dodgeball game. Pro-Am. This is where they took a fucking L. To all my people who are watching, if you guys are still here, comment Goat Gang in the chat. I want to know who's watching this whole fucking video let me know who's loyal comment goat gang in the chat but pro-am this is an l 2k has an e-sport based off of pro-am and it's still not fucking fixed that is bullshit how is your game's e-sport not working that makes no sense pro-am fix an issue where pro-am players and the jordan Rec Center would sometimes show up in wrong uniforms. Crowd audio will be improved. Gamer tags rather than names will now be on the back of jerseys. Season ranking for Pro-Am will now appear correctly on the menu. Who the fuck cares? Private matchmaking does not work. Still, the game's been out for t almost, uh, almost two, wait, no. Almost a month and a half now. The main mode is still not fixed. Fix fucking Pro-Am, that is bullshit. It is your eSport. To my team. Who the fuck plays that? No one cares about that. Um, simplified goals for unlocking the auction house. Okay. Okay. No, no one cares. No one cares. My GM, my league. Obviously, definitely, nobody gives a flying fuck about that. So, <laughs> um, just to wrap things up. Basically, Pro-Am is not fixed, which is the main eSport, which is bullshit. The steal success for bums has been reduced. Your so if you are if you know your trash of the game, you're welcome now. Good players cannot get as much steals anymore, which is bullshit. 2K always tries to favor the the players who suck. They never gear the game for people who are good. The skill gap is slowly going away when they promised a skill gap this year. Eventually the skill gap will be non-existent, but only time will tell. I still gotta play the patch. You guys can watch me play that shit. 
on stream. If you're new, make sure you hit that fucking subscribe button. You will not regret it, I promise. Like the fuck out this video. I love you guys so much. Go out. <laughs>